big moment. Have you seen this viral moment? Oh, yeah. So they put your face you back to the future. The movie's happening. Is it happening? Totally you happening. You heard it here on E.T. Heard it here first. Me and Downey, it's happening. We start shooting in like an hour. Would you be interested? I would... I would not be interested because that is a perfect movie. And when I first got Spider-Man, my goal was to be my generation's Marty McFly. And when I did the first press tour, a journalist said to me, they're like, you realize that you're like Marty McFly in this movie? And I was like, done. I have a gift from your dad. He just said to give you this when you were both over 16. <gasps> no way! 16th birthday, what did you get? Uh, I don't know. I know I went water skiing with all of my mates. Yeah, but I don't remember what I got. What did you get on your 16th birthday? I think like a crappy car from my dad. Chris got uh, football pads, he said. Yeah, a car's a pretty great present. I didn't get a car. I don't know if it ran, but anyway. <laughs> um, this movie is so much about brotherhood, and I think that it gives young men and boys a really cool roadmap to like how they can be men in a kind and light-hearted way. Um, what do you hope the kids that were looking for a brotherhood story across the world take away from this movie? I think it's a really nice way for young kids to learn how to express their feelings and express their emotions. It's a film about emotions and it's a film about connectivity and I sometimes think that like young boys especially have a hard time expressing how they feel and I think this film will really help people sort of feel more comfortable doing that and if that is something that we can do, then I think we've achieved something really special.